give him a round of applause. So now I'd like to make a few introductions. Um, I am not going to be able, unfortunately, to name everybody that's here. In order to do something like this, we have about 15 or so um, um, uh, family members and parents that are helping us with this uh, that I'm not even going to say anything about. So those are the first people that I want to thank. Uh, you know who you are. So like to introduce my wife, Connie, yeah. yes. and our, our son, Logan Flaherty, wherever he is, he's going to go to and then his son, Reese Flaherty, yeah. also our technical wizard in student services, uh, member Jacob. And then Sensei Greg Wardwell. Sensei Wardwell started with us here in San Jose about 40 years ago. And he's been back here with us about six, eight months now. And then the newest member of our instructional staff, Sensei Wayne Reagan. Who also started with us about 40 years ago. So it's really exciting to have these two uh, old persons here in this school. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't say that, did I? No, because I'm older than all of them. Um, all right, and then we have our junior instructor, Miss Karina Zhang. Ms. Zhang is at the young age of 14, and she has just earned her second degree black belt. So she's assistant instructors, young people who are training to become instructors, there's about 15 of them. They're headed by Miss Sammy Gonzalez. <laughs> okay, so um, moving on. So we have a fun-filled event for you tonight. Our goal is for all of you to leave here with sore hands and hoarse voices from all the clapping and cheering that you're gonna do. Yay! <laughs> All right, and here's what's going to happen. I'm going to say a few words, then we're going to have the performances and awards. Uh, Jacob is going to be taking a bunch of pictures. We're going to have a school photo here. You're all welcome to come and take your pictures as well. Just don't uh, knock Jacob down when he's trying to take his pictures. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to sign some books, if anybody would like an autographed copy of our newest book, um, The Hero's Journey, we'll have that. Uh, and then we're going to eat, and when we eat, when you're in line waiting, in the spirit of Halloween, uh, we're going to have a cackle and a howl contest. So if you like, uh, you get to cackle like a witch, <laughs> or you can howl like a wolf. Ow. Whatever you like to do. And if you don't want to do, if you don't want to do any of those silly things, then we have.
have something really scary for you to do, and that is you can say something nice about your kid or say something nice about our school to the camera. Ah. Okay. But if you don't want to do any of those things, that's fine. We're not going to push your arm. Uh, also, um, um, from uh, our technical wizard over here, Jake Richardson, we have a brand new way to help you get our contact information into your phone if you want that, and we're going to be doing that in the line as well. Um, okay, and then, then we're going to have this, the cake, which is sitting right over there. It's still in the box, so we, but we will take it out of the box eventually. Um, um, and then we have our samurai sword, which is hidden at the moment. Um, so uh, anybody that would like to cut this cake with the samurai sword is welcome to do that. We have been doing this for years. Uh, there has never been any dead children, so um, you can relax about it. Um, the, the, ch the child is not going to be holding the sword by themselves. There will be a, um, an instructor or someone holding the, holding the sword behind them, so it's, it is safe. So, but if you are worried about that, let us know, and we'll take extra precautions for your child. But um, it really shouldn't be a problem here. Um, okay, and then we par party until the cows come home, and that's about 8 o'clock. Okay, so uh, now I'm just a few things here. So um, it is a crazy time that we live in. Uh, every day there's something totally bizarre that's coming into the news. Uh, we could be losing our democracy, we could be heading into World War III, all the storms, floods, and fires that we've seen so far, there could be, what, what's coming forward could be nothing in comparison to what, what's coming at us in the future. Uh, all we know for sure is that the young people that we have here are going to have to live with that, they're gonna have to face that, and so what we want to do as a school is to prepare them in the best way possible, mentally, physically, and emotionally, so that they can handle all those things. Uh, as a young man, I felt helpless. I felt, felt powerless. And when I started taking karate, I was empowered by it. And it became my goal that I wanted to help other people experience the same power, or gain the same power that I had. But what I also realized that as a young man, I was not able to explain it very well what had happened to me and how it had come about that karate had helped me. And, um, but I, I think I know now. Um, I've been doing this now for 53 years. And um, that idea has, is what the seed of what I've written about in my book here, uh, The Hero's Journey, Act One. This is the first of three books. Um, it starts with defining what a hero is. So a hero is someone who answers the call to adventure and dedicates themselves to a purpose outside of themselves. Uh, mythologists have discovered this archetype of the hero in every culture around the world. Um, they've discovered that the hero holds a high position in, this, in societies, they are respected, they are admired, they are adored in many cases, and they are the subject of countless stories, songs, poems, movies, etc. All the superheroes that you see in the world that, uh, that, that kids love um, are all, all come from this hero archetype. So some people are born heroes, but the vast majority of people of heroes are made. And ordinary people can become heroes if they go through a certain process or series of events or stages that, um, that will bring them that to them. So briefly, I'm just gonna summarize these 12 stages. So the first stage, and if, if you understand this, then you're gonna understand because what happens in our school is our students go through a hero's journey. This is a hero's journey. Um, so stage one is their ordinary world. This is when we meet the child there for the first time, and we start to get to know them. Stage two is answering the call to adventure. This is when the child has a taste, or get a taste, or the, or the adult gets a taste of the excitement that they're going to experience while they're training in the school. Um, Stage three is resisting the call. Uh, so danger goes hand in hand with adventure. So it's natural for a person who is unaccustomed to facing danger to want to retreat to the security of the home. So we will get many of our students in our school who resist coming to class, resist the training. And, but that's really what's going on is that they sense the danger and they want to escape back into the security of the home. But if they do that, then they're not going to be able to move themselves forward. Stage four is meeting their teacher. 
This is the moment when you or the child first realizes the tremendous impact that the teacher can have on the person's life. Stage five is crossing the threshold. This is the deciding moment. This is the moment in which you or your family or your child all make the decision that you're going to go all the way. And stage six is meeting allies, enemies, and taking tests. So in life, there are people who you will meet and who you know who you do not like. And then there are people that you do like. And the people that you do like are to become your friends or your allies, and they're necessary because they're going to help you. But the people that you don't like are also necessary because what they're going to do is they're going to point out to you your weaknesses. And once you know your weaknesses, then you can work on fixing those and make yourself into a stronger individual. Stage seven is called the approach. This is the point when, you, when the person, when the student, first faces danger and learns to take things seriously. And if you'll notice, you know, when you, if you're watching the kids practicing, they're, they're, they like to be goofy, they like to play around and everything. Well, uh, that's all well and good because that's where their mindset is, but they have to roll into this understanding of the, the, the concept of being serious, and it's the danger that they start to face that's going to um, actually transform them into a serious person. And the danger that we're talking about is, all, is the danger that they're going to experience in their mind. There is not any real danger that's going on in the school. Our students do not hurt each other. They not actually hit each other. That doesn't actually happen. This is a psychological um, concept. Um, the stage A is referred to as the ordeal. These are times when you feel like you've hit rock bottom and you want to quit, but <laughs> you have to stick with it. If you quit at that point, then you fail to de develop the resilience that you're going to need to get through the rest of your life, or a high level of resilience that you're going to need in order to handle the more difficult things that you experience in life. Stage nine is the reward. Up until this point, the student is just one of many, but now they become someone. Now they know who they are and they stand out. Right. Stage 10 is the road back. This is when you bring the knowledge and skills that you have gained, you bring it back to your family and you bring it back to your community. And now everything that you have learned is going to benefit all of you. Stage 11 is the resurrection. This is when you emerge from the ordeal transformed. When you have, you have faced death and survived, you are not the same person you were when you started. You're someone greater than you were before. You're purified. It's a moment of death and rebirth on a higher plane. And stage 12 is returning with the treasure. The real treasure is who you have become. You are a person of substance, a person who must be reckoned with. You are a force of nature. So parents, grandparents, guardians, Persuade, influence, and inspire yourself or your child to answer the call to adventure, to take this brain journey, to make the decision and go all the way, to become somebody, and give back to the world what you have gained. Thank you. All right, now we'd like to uh, start. Uh, let's have group one come up. Left leg forward, make a forward stance. Height! Step and punch upper body. H! Knee! Height! Stepping back, rising block. H! Knee! Height! Return to down block. Stepping forward, outside forearm block. H! Knee! Height! And stepping back, down block. H! Knee! Knee! Nice! Ah! Arms to your sides, camera entering buckets. Front snap kick and step forward. H! Hey! Knee! Knee! Nice! Ah! Turn. Roundhouse kick and step forward. H! Hey! Knee! Knee! Nice! Ah! Turn. Yame. And All right. Bally. Let's give him a round of applause. Student 
as we come up one by one. First up is Lila Algira. Uh, next up is Harper Barahona. Enoch. Atticus. Atticus Miller. Carter. Carter Green. Dominic Martinez. Emilio Sanchez. Baker Espy. Avery Finn. Georgie Jasmine. Elijah Lawson. Left leg forward, make a forward stance. H! Step in, punch to the upper body. H! Knee! Knight! Stepping back, rising block. H! Knee! Knight! Return to down block. Stepping forward, outside forearm block. H! Knee! Knight! Stepping back, down block. H! Knee! Knight! Arms to your sides, care manager your buckets. Front snap, kick and step forward. H! Knee! Knight! Turn. Roundhouse kick and step forward. H! Knee! Knight! Turn. Yame. And foul. Is Ms. Rhonda Alderman, Sherry Askin, Guillaume Gar, all the other young dudes, Ms. Houston Gar, Billy Keller, Santi Fernandez, Joshua Perez, Carlos Barreco, Ed Estrada, Ed Estrada, Jason Zepaniski, Papa DeWitt, Sophia Nguyen, who just lost her too, he earned his orange belt. Together and bow. 
First up is T.T. DeWitt, Zoe Halquin, Dalton Elliott, Ethan Miller, Benjamin Miller, Nolan Thorson, Mandel Zaradnik, and Jennifer Fitzgerald, and Tim Fitzgerald, Brandon Alderman, Jaden Dow, Jennifer Kalerik, Rob Bowe, Kassan Sherpa, Stephen Lamb, Miguel Barbosa, Luke James Smith, Conrad Dameron, Malachi Dameron, Cohen Wright, Henry Salazar, Abby Dameron.
this is her certificate for second degree black belt. <laughs>